Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about sets. We're going to tackle another problem from Hacker Rank series of problems. This one is called Introduction to Sets. As always, I've got my Jupyter Notebook on the right of the screen and I've got the Hacker Rank website on the left. On the Hacker Rank website, you can see on the far left, there is the description of the task we're going to be tackling today. And in this white area, I have been provided with a platform for me to be able to write code, submit, and see the results. So before I get into this task, I want to talk to you about sets in Python. I've got a separate independent video on that one, so feel free to have a look at that one. But right now, I'll give you a very short introduction to sets in Python. There are two things about sets that you need to remember. One, they are unordered. So there is no order in sets in Python. I'll show you what I mean. Number two, they do not have any duplicates in them. So for example, you cannot have a set of John and John and then Alex and Maria. You can't have twice John. I'll show you now. Let's consider a list of number one, number one, number one, maybe three times or four times number two and just another four times number four. If I show you that one, you will see that's a list. It's got three times one, it's got four times two, and four times four. If I simply convert this into a set by simply calling the set function, you will see that there are two changes. Change number one, there are no duplicates. There is only one time number one, one time number two, and one time number four. Duplicates are gone. Change number two, we have moved from square brackets to curly brackets. So these are called square brackets and these are called curly brackets. For sets, we use curly brackets. For lists, we use square brackets. So that's to begin with. And can I use any words and strings for sets? Of course. So if you've got a list of people's names like Alex and then John and then probably Tom and Maria and maybe Alex again. That's the list of people you're dealing with. If you convert this to a set, there will be two changes. One, no duplicates. Number two, we will move from square brackets to curly brackets. Let's convert this to a set and you will see that we have moved from having Alex twice only to having Alex once. So this was a really quick introduction to sets. Now let's move to Hacker Rank and have a look at the task. Ms. Gabrielle Williams is a botany professor at District College. One day she asked her student Mickey to compute the average of all plants with distinct heights in her greenhouse. So here I can tell you in my own words what the problem is. Imagine a greenhouse with, for example, 100 plants in it. We're going to ask the user how many plants they have. So let's just imagine 100 plants in one greenhouse. What Ms. Gabrielle wants Mickey to do is to find distinct heights of plants. When we say distinct, it means that no repetition, no duplicates. So find distinct heights, then find the average. And finding average is pretty easy, isn't it? So we will use sets to find the distinct heights in the greenhouse and then we will calculate the average. We have been given the average formula down here, but it's pretty easy, isn't it? So we will need to write a function called average of whatever list of numbers the user gives us, and then we will find the average of that value. What I will do, I'll clean up my Jupyter notebook. What I will do, I will start using the example given from HackerRank. So based on what I can see on this screen, we will ask the user how many different plants are in the greenhouse. So let's copy that line across. If I run that, you will see that I'm asking the user how many plants are in the greenhouse. So maybe 10. And if I print n, you will see that there are 10. So there are 10 plants in that greenhouse. And these are the values provided by the user. So if the array is a string of such and such, these are the values that the user will feed, which goes into this array. There is one problem with that array of numbers. They are in a string format. 
What I need to do is to change them from string format to an integer format. That's pretty easy, isn't it? So if I go array.split, you will see that I can convert them from one big string to strings that are separated by commas, which is pretty cool. And then if I take that and map it into integers, I can change them from strings to integers. So if I go ahead and say, I want you to map the values that I will be giving to you into an integer. If you haven't seen my video on mapping, go ahead. The link is up on the right side. And then the split of this array. This will convert the strings into numbers. Once you have converted that into a list of numbers, you will feed it into array. So let's just easily feed this into an array. If I show you array, you will see that it's a list of numbers. I've got the list of unique height values for the plants in a greenhouse. All I need to do now is to find the distinct values, which will be defined under a function called average. This should be pretty easy based on what I showed you, because if I feed this into a set, you will see that it gets rid of any duplicate values and gives me a set of non-duplicate values. So if I were to define the average function, I'm just going to copy that here, paste it here. For me to be able to find the average height in a greenhouse without any duplicates, all I need to do is to make a new variable called distinct heights, and that will be a set of the list. So the list goes in to a set, gets rid of any duplicates, and feeds it into a set called distinct heights. Once I've got the distinct heights, I will find the average by introducing a average height variable, which is sum of distinct heights divided by length of distinct heights. Heights. Once done that, I will have the average height value. Given this is a function, I will return the rounded value because I only want two decimal points. I will return the average height using two decimal values. If I show you how this works, it should be pretty, pretty easy. Just remember that array is a list which is converted from string into a list of numbers. And I'll show you what this looks like. So it's a list. Now, if I use the average function on the array, this will give me the average height. I think I need to use three decimal points because what I can see on HackerRank, it has got three decimal points. So let's increase that to three. And you will see that I got exactly what HackerRank wanted me. So right now, I will copy this, paste it right here. I believe all I need to do is run the code. Let's see if it's going to be successful. Yep, it says, congratulations, you have passed the sample test case, but I need to submit it to, for it to run multiple test cases. Let's submit. All test cases were run successfully. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.